Hi everyone, so I thought I would bring you my full collection, every bottle that I own up until this point at the end of 2018 I'm going to show you. Starting with this dresser down here, so this is downstairs and this is a really beautiful dresser that I love and on top I keep a selection or a display of the fragrances I'm probably going to be wearing that week or that couple of weeks. So as it's Christmas week now, these are all the fragrances that I'll be choosing from over the coming days, Christmas and New Year. These are all the ones that I feel are special and warrant wearing on special occasions. So let's start. At the back you have Le Maroc Pour L by Tower. Here you have Aura Sublime from Bijon Parfums, Me Too NB Parfums, Over the Back Pink Champagne Truffle by Pana London, Portrait of a Lady, Frederick Mal and Tobacco Rose from Papillon. In the middle here we have two Galans, so you've got Le Plou, Beaujour de Ma Vie, just the tiniest little bit left there. Then Bois d'Armony is in the middle and that's Alien Essence Absolute over the back. Here we have a Tulip Rouge from Esquise Parfums. That one is Shazam, smells like Christmas. And Powder and Dust from SP Parfums. In the atomizers, they're both Galans. The smaller atomizer is Mon Precious Nectar and the larger one is Iris Ganache. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you the uh, all the rest of them. So here we are in my bedroom and this is the uh, last or this is the majority of my collection and we'll start at the top we have Lolita Lempica that's the original parf uh, perfume that's the new release which is the premiere and then this one is Eau Couture version Minuit Eau Couture over the back we have Lush What Would Love Do and this one's called Calacus. you can't get it at the moment, and it's a, a lime cocktail kind of fragrance. Then we've got two more hearts. This one's called Cocktail. That one's called Metamorphosis. Over and over, a 29 High Street and Amelie May. Then we have Giovanna Antonelli. We have all of the fragrances they do, 811, 611 and 411, plus their newest release, which at the moment I believe is still unnamed. It smells very leathery and rich. We've got travel sizes of SP Parfums, there's Powder and Dust, there's a couple of those, uh, Polaroid, Rose Polaroid, there's Christmas Cassis, Cologne and Green Tea. Here are my... 4160 Tuesday Soldiers. We've got Over the Chocolate Shop, Pillow Talk, Sleep Knot, Centerpiece, Rhubarb and Citrus Cologne. And this is the new Tiger Tiger. You've got Rome 63 at the back and Sexy Scent on the Planet here. And then <coughs> onto the next level. We've got the two Chanel. We've got the two Chanel's, which is Derville and Bayritz behind it. Over the back is Agonist the Infidels. Then I have a little collection of, a very small collection of Tom Fords. You've got Venetian Bergamot, Neroli Portofino Aqua, a Soleil Blanc, which is in the factory sample bottle, not in the proper bottle, but it is 100% the, the proper stuff, and I love it. Over the back there, you've got Norelli Portofino, still in its box, but I do use it from time to time. Then, we've got a Zerzhov's Renaissance and Naxos. Then we have my little Galan corner. This one is Terracotta and Voile Dete. This is a Chalamar Souffle de Parfum, one of the limited edition bottles. This is Chalamar Souffle de Lumiere. This is terracotta. Over the back you've got a broken bottle of um, Sam Seurat, EDT and it's a vintage one. Then behind that in the corner you've got my Iris Ganache and the Mon Precious Nectar. That's looking pretty low that one. I'll definitely get some more when that runs out. 
Then the aqua allegoria is Pampaloon, and you have Louis in front, and this is a mini X-ray of Samsara. So on to the next level. Just get myself comfortable. To the left we have Lipstick Rose by Frederick Mal. Next to Rose All Day from Gallagher. Over the back is Midnight in Paris. Frankly from Arpels and you have Sensual Orchid by Lawrence Mazzoni. Now we have my SP Parfums. Suntan Glam, Cologne, Powder and Dust, Sun Milk Flowers. Sun Milk Flowers have just re-sniffed for the first time in ages. The gorgeous pollen-like super floral almost like florals on drugs hyper floral fragrance is really quite interesting so i'm going to try and get to know that a bit better now so over the back there is mark jacobs decadence which was a gift from my mum. to me it smells like palma violets roses and chocolate very very smooth and lovely here we have travel sizes of the zoologist range you've got elephant panda nightingale Hummingbird, T-Rex, Dragonfly and Macaque. Now down here, we've got two versions of Lamel, the Vintage Original and then a La Tonique, uh, which is like a cologne alcohol free version, really quite nice. Aquity Palmer Colonia Ascenza, Gorse, Laboratory Perfumes Gorse, Pomelo Paradis over the back. You've got Self Water from Lily Bermuda, Ferrari Bright Neroli at the back, We've got Mula Mula, then you've got Essential Parfums, Nice Bergamot, there's Jill Sander Sun, Eccentric Molecules, Molecule One, there's Neroli by Rook Perfumes, over there's Shafali, which is, um, I think it's an Yves Rocher, old fragrance. Titania is by uh, CJ Sense, a boozy vanilla. We've got some 4160 travel sizes here. Uh, sexy Scent on the Planet Extract in the middle there, Goodbye Piccadilly, Scent Fusiasm, Creamy Vanilla Custard, Rhubarb and Citrus Cologne and there's two, one that I made myself at the uh, workshop that I went to and one that was made by Sarah at an event in Margate that smells a bit like Margate by night with candy floss and sea, sea salty air and all sorts of other stuff. In the middle there you've got Brigantia Perfumes Baccio di Voluto and Pana London's Pineapple Essenza. Here is Stories by Eliza Grace number one and number two. And then you have Esquise Parfums Mandarin Air Herbs. That's Traverse du Bosphore. And there is Nectar de Eels from En Voyage Perf parfums i think that's all of them so do let me know what you think is there anything there that i haven't reviewed yet that you would like me to review i hope you enjoyed that and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video